Learn how you can use focus groups to get better results for your clients. Stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in today. To help you learn more about how you can use focus groups to improve the results you get for your clients, I've invited Andrew Garza to join us. Thanks for joining us today. Michael, thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks, Andrew. We know how busy you are. So we've been talking about focus groups um, a little bit. And uh, thanks for agreeing to be here with us and help plaintiff lawyers understand how and when and where to use focus groups. Tell us about it. Sure. So, I mean, we have a, a saying in our office when someone asks a question and, and we'll, we'll give them a direct answer most of the time. But the response often is focus group it. Um, no matter uh -huh. what you think well, about a case or about how you think a jury is going to perceive your client or, mm -hmm. or um, you don't really know until you've asked a set of strangers from the area where you will try that case what they think. You know, maybe things wow. that you think are important are not to them. Uh, things that you find unimportant are critical to them. Uh, so in nearly every case that we run, um, either we do a couple of cases at once or we'll spend an entire session on a larger case. Uh, you know, we, we ask other folks about our case. Wow. So yeah, that sounds like such an easy concept. But to me, um, I'm kind of a systems guy. I would think, where, would, where do you even start to put these people together? And where do you do this and things like that? Well, how did you get started? Sure. So, I mean, it's important to pull from the area where you're, where you're going to try the case. So uh, Craigslist uh, is still alive and well for ah. that purpose. Um, you know, you offer folks some money for their time, you, you buy them dinner and, you know, you have them come in and, and, you, and, and you, you know, you'll decide ahead of time with your lawyers in your office, you know, given the time that we have, the two or three hours, you know, what are the most important things for us to talk about in this case? Is it, mm -hmm. is it like, yeah. is it just understanding what normal people know about asbestos exposure? You know, we've done oh. a whole group. That. What do, what do people think recklessness means or even is? And, uh, you know, what's their common experience? What are they coming in with? And, you know, mm -hmm. on a regular level, we can show them a video of our client. We can show them a video of, of, of a defendant. You know, we, we tape nearly every deposition we take. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, what do you think about this person? Are they credible? Do you like them? What do you want to know more about? I mean, you know, really mm -hmm. the uh, is your oyster for, for deciding what you want to focus group. But, um, mm -hmm. you know, we find that we get the results we do because we understand um, more intimately the weaknesses and strengths of our cases. And we're not just... Um, we're not just loud in court. You know, we have some basis for, for yeah. why it is that we feel. It's brilliant. Um, fantastic. Well, it costs time and it, it costs money and it takes time to do these. What has the impact on your practice been since you've been doing uh, focus groups? I mean, we, we've seen our results uh, just get better and better. I mean, they mm -hmm. you can use focus groups to understand damages in your case. They can also help clients. I mean, you know, um, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, clients may, may have different opinions on the values of cases and it can help to see what, you know, eight strangers think about your case. And yeah, um, that can be sobering or it can be exciting depending on what the feedback is. But, um, you know, it's made us more comfortable trying the cases that we try um, because we we've seen things that we weren't even looking for, um, uh -huh. you know, it, and it's uh, it's always amazing. Every focus group we do, what you know, what the, what the folks come up with. Um, and you know, maybe, maybe the defense has thought about it. Maybe they haven't, but now there are certainly things that we think about in our guarding or building cases in support of. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, that's, that's fascinating. Thanks for sharing your story and your success of using focus groups. If someone wanted uh, another lawyer want to get in touch with you, uh, maybe ask a question or two, would you be willing to speak with them? Oh, of course. Just have them send me an email, Andrew at cttrialfirm.com. I mean, we believe in giving back to plaintiff's lawyers, and, and I think we're, we're all better, uh, the better we get at this. Well, thanks for joining us today. Have a great rest of your day, Andrew. Thanks for having me, Mike.